Hello everybody, I haven't had a chance to make any water cooling updates for a very very long time. So let's try to catch up on the current state of affairs in the water cooling world. The most recent news that we know is that two major manufacturers released new CPU blocks. We haven't seen any new blocks since Raystorm was introduced by XSPC last year. So this is a welcome change. And two blocks I would like to discuss in um, this video and next video it would be Beats Power CPU block and AK Supremacy. Supremacy, I would like to make a video next after I finish with this one. So we'll put this block aside and let's concentrate on this Beats Power CPU block, especially its point of interest for me because this is a block I'm going to use in my Venom build. Let me give you some view of the box. Uh, slightly different design from what we usually see from Beats Power. Typically, Beats Power very conservative, just black and white. And this we see we got some a little bit of the color going on. Um, back of the box shows all kind of supported CPU sockets we can have. Um, blockers can be either Intel or AMD. It's not universal block, you need to make your decision which one you want to have and you buy it. So the version I have obviously is Intel because that's what kind of build I have personally. And uh, on the side you have your part number and description what kind of um, top of the block you're getting. The one I chose for myself is a um, color called Ice, which is basically tinted plexiglass. And um, the colors available as of now is either black, tinted, uh, red or blue. I don't think that the green is available at this point or any other color. So let's see what we can do here to open the packaging up and see what's inside. This is more traditional Beats Power colors. So what do I have here? Let me look first myself. Make sure the correct contact of the block, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is our screws, a little bit of thermal paste, Atrix, not sure what this brand name is. Um, let's don't work, spend more time on the screws right now because we're going to install it anyway. So the manual describing how to, some warnings, and we'll look on this later as well. So some kind of box here, which is, let's see what it is, looks very nice, looks like a possibly kind of gift, but I doubt. Alright, this is just a back plate, interesting enough, typically back plates made out of some sort of metal but this back plate is just injected plastic i guess it will work just as good as any other back plate okay and the block itself just in a clear plastic let me take it out it's a little bit all screwed Turn it apart, and um, as I already mentioned, my choice is um, tinted black tinted plexiglass. I'm not sure if I can put any LEDs in this version because I think non-tinted version has a provision for LEDs. But honestly, I don't see anything on the side that I can put LEDs in this one. So basically, if I want any. I need to drill it myself. Back of the block is um, nickel plated or chrome plated, something of this kind. And internals, typical design for any block on the market right now, micro channels. Uh, the holes is huge, so I pre predict that a restrictions level will be very, very minimal for this block. What I want to do is actually to open it up so we can have a better look for internals of the block and see if there's any impeachment plate and um, is there any interesting details that may be relevant. Let's do some 
work, physical work, oops, four screws to hold our top. Well, indeed, we have uh, some sort of impeachment plate over here, very small, how it looks, huge opening, and uh, this is our micro channels. They're definitely not as micro as i seen on coolant or heat curer or EK, for that matter. So slightly larger channels, which again, I'm not sure if it will affect cooling performance negatively, but definitely the flow will be probably gigantic in this particular block. Um, I don't see how this impeachment plate is get ah okay. They actually holding in place by the top. There are no carving on the bottom, so that's how you actually try to fix it. And this is a look on our plate. So we get injected in the middle, going through the channels, and everything get pushed outside. So that's how it looks. All right, I have a chance to disassemble the latest AK block as well, AK Supremacy. And I can demonstrate to you the channel structure between two bases is very much different. Uh, the channels on Beats Power block probably two, three times larger than um, Supremacy and Fins and Seeker. So the question which is unanswered, and nobody knows the answer, I guess, this point that what give you better performance is that a uh, micro channel structure with very fine channels or rough channels but a larger flow as I assume so um, something that somebody will test eventually could be even me but right now I don't have an answer for this um, question also you can also judge by the type of impingement plate coming with bits power there's a huge impingement plate with huge holes while supremacy coming with a plate very similar to um, plate number six that was in Supreme HF and if you're interested in a higher flow they give you second plate that's slightly bigger but still it will be smaller than uh, Beats Power so I think it's more or less obvious that Beats Power probably will have a much higher flow than Supremacy and um, actual numbers I can't quote you because I don't know, but that's what we have here. All right, thank you for watching. This is the latest and greatest that I just got recently, and I'll come back with more detail on uh, Supremacy Block itself as a separate video. Thank you.